death is a necessary part of life, but not all deaths are necessary. Damn you, mankind. Okay, you convinced me. Let's keep going. I feel so present, so aware, parceling bigger, connected to everything and everyone. Now what? A heavy looking stone door. I cannot open it with brute strength. There's a one on it. Okay. Whoa! Feels like a part of me died. Let's keep going and see where it takes us. Zero. Probably should not be in here. Oh, well, this is a little... <laughs> Come on. Poor guy set off the trap, most likely saving my life. The trap seems to be broken now, so I can just pass. I better be off for the tasks ahead. He burned to death, and because of that, I'm alive. But back to stone door number one, excuse me. Gotcha, bitch. Ingenious how the game kind of shows you how to do puzzles without giving you a straight-up tutorial on them. I know this game had a tutorial in the beginning, but those are basic controls. Puzzle solving, it's rather intuitive. Okay. Another... what? This looks like it's timed. You know, now I'm curious. Do you really think I have to go all the way back to the other thing? Seems a little bit of a stretch. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it like that. Because there's a third puzzle. Ah, jeez. All right. Well, here's the block anyway, and I can't lift it, I don't think. Nope. Oh, I could still launch it. Just not through this guy. So how do I... Can I just not launch it through this guy? Hold on. Gotcha. Alright, sorry for the boredom of looking down all the time, but it's... It is what it is. Let's Prince of Persia this up. Ugh, such tedium. This game's dicking around with me, I tell ya. Hopefully this is not all for naught. Ah, come on. There we go. Really had to jam that thing in there. Okay. Sounds like the door closed not far from here. Closed? I was hoping for opening, actually. Interesting. So what's the point? Did I want that third block for something else? I don't get it. Oh, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. I did it in completely the wrong order. Oh, god damn it. How frustrating. Well, actually, I don't need this thing open anymore, do I? Oh, how irritating. How irritating. Whatever, I have this down to a science. The X block goes on the X door. Now, when it said a part of me died, could it have been that I'm starting to become a part of these collective and that guy was just uh, 
like what I could have been. Uh, yeah. This is the most exciting part of the entire Let's Play. I'm telling you. How could it not be? Please, 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 no. Well, damn. How am I supposed to do that? Though I am one, my number is infinite. Through this, I see the needs of the many outweigh the life of just one. I think I might have an idea. It's that zero door that's the trick. So you were closed, straight up. There's no block near me as of yet. What I want to do is hit up that zero door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Startle me. I want... What? Come on. Do I investigate the guy first then? That's not fair. Fine, I'll check the guy out. Jesus. Wait a minute. I need to preserve that guy's life then. I can't go around the corner. So... Doesn't help me. Do not go there. Instead, I will deal with door number one. That's it. Maybe the guy is in the blue in, in the zero room or something. I'll deal with each puzzle as it comes. Then, fine. Here you go, buddy. This was a warning, right? Do I sprint out there then? What the hell? I don't get it. I, I, that's gotta be what I do though. There's nothing else to do. There's only one other thing I can consider. Wait for the thing to close before even attempting this? This is really irritating. Damn you idiot who wanders through hallways. Can't I call out to him? That would save me all sorts of time. There. Basic opener. Press U. This thing stays clicked open. Oh god. Good. Just in time, too. Now I get out of here. That might be the all, all all door opening thing, right? So now I chill, wait for this to shut. Then the guy won't go out, right? Right? I'll give it a little bit of time. <laughs> Click. All right. Moment of truth. Gotcha. It feels like someone's behind this door and I'm connected to that person somehow. Gotcha, bitch. Still, there's this. Yeah. So what do I do? Do I warn the guy? I can't reopen that door. Well, I can with this. No, I think shut. Do I burn myself to death? Probably not. What do I do about this? 
All of my solutions were in here, but this is locked forever now. I saved your life, asshole. If I have to burn myself, then I'll burn myself, but I don't think that that's what they want. And this only opens that door. <sighs> There's no way. I guess I'll kill myself. Because I am seeing no way out of this. The trap broke when it went off. Screw it. What just happened? Am I still here? In some way, it seems like I was always here. Interesting. Well, this part's simple, right? Now, I'm the guy in the zero door. So, that's me? I sacrificed myself so another man could live. And yet, I am that other man now. There's no clear distinction between my own self and another person. Interesting. I died, and at the same time, I did not. And yet, there's still this problem at the end. What was I just looking at? Just a block. Okay. So this means... Oh, I'm bad at this. But won't this go off? Right? There can't be another solution, can there? Do I turn back around? Do I grab another rock? Because I think all doors are shut. I mean, well, except for this one, which I just opened. The other one should be... There's no way out of this. I'm going to have to burn myself. But I think message is... Me message received. Elaborate puzzle. You got me. What if I cheat? Oh. Point made, I guess. And I'm free. I am relieved, mankind. In a being such as you, selfishness would be catastrophic. You have shown that you can be higher than your station. And for this reason, I shall reveal to you that which I revealed to Howard. This I want to know. This is what made Howard say, God help us all. This ought to be interesting. How is there a third game after this? This looks pretty conclusive. I came here to this place many millions of years ago. Before mankind was even upright. Oh. As eons came and went, Mankind appeared around me and found names for me. Demon. I'm back and the table's gone. Turn gate. We existed in harmony for much time. I lie in dormant within what you refer to as the infected. And they benefiting from my knowledge and protection. But mankind changed and I fled. So much power in mankind. So many questions, and yet, without the intelligence to answer them. This is like the showdown speech. Sit here while I give you a story. Yeah, now it lets me leave. This thing is intense. Whoa! Time grows and tries to form a whole, a community. Somehow, it becomes more dangerous. Jeez, the first game. <laughs> this event was open, wasn't it? Ugh. What is the true evil? Turns out it's man. This is a very linear path. This is actually really well done. And you'll notice this door shut. This game's good. Watch this. But you, yep. You are different. You have proved this. And now I ask for your mercy. 
Do not allow me to be destroyed by your kin, which they would surely do. They followed the Inuit here, and you followed them. There will be more. Will you send word? Will you destroy all trace of this place, so that Something no here. mankind will ever discover me again? Will you do this for me? I'd be happy to tr destroy this tr all trace of this place. There was something here before. Yeah, the the computer could it have been? Yeah, I'd be happy to destroy all trace of this place. I really would. No problem. Oh. I figured. <laughs> no option to leave. No save point. Didn't think so. What? Wait, did you? Yeah. Well, damn. Makes you question what's real. I mean, we've already been doing that, but... Is this all in my mind? Is this a test again? Alright, well, I, I've stalled long enough. Fade to black slowly? That might have been it. Email.exec compose. You don't have Gmail on this thing? There are things I need of you. Things you may not understand. Oh my god, it's the narration of the first game. Or of this game. I'm not sure what to do. I must think. 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 Wasn't that the narration for me? From the first game? Not yet. I need to think. Uh, yeah, you okay? All these notes, what do they mean? What does it all mean? Um, okay, let's... Okay. Okay, I'm starting to snap a little bit. I need to get out of here. I thought so. I thought so. It won't budge. Eliminate the options. Eliminate the options. I'm descending into madness. The madness... The, oh, there's literally nothing out here. I'm trapped in this plane. This is freaking Shodan stuff right here. I only have one option. No, I don't. There's another option. But, but what? 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 Inventory. I don't care, man. It's not helping. Flashlight won't help me. The notes are useless. What else is there to investigate? You're done. You're done. Let. Me. Walk. How about you? Nothing. 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 <laughs> Shelf. Nothing. You! Calendar! Last year, but I'm not sure. What year is it? Where am I? There it is. Come on, Turngate. Will you do this for me? It asked, and I said that I would. I promised the Hive that I would contact someone I could trust, that I would have them destroy all evidence of this place, just as my father had promised himself. I, however, will not make the same mistakes my father made. You now understand the truth of the events that lead, so that the player is, uh, is actually sending it to me, the truth of the events that led me here, the immeasurable importance of my words. Armed with this knowledge, you must have the strength to do that which I could not. The turn gate was quite correct. We humans are a dangerous, headless herd, but intelligent individuals. The members of this faculty facility uh, sought to reveal and control the turn gate, and the turn gate turned to me for salvation. The hive ran its tests on me, and I jumped through its hoops like the monkey it took me for. But I am no monkey. The Turngate was right. I am entirely unlike it. I had more in common with Clarence. I promised I would send this email to you. I promised I would ask that you keep all humans from this place. For the sake of the Turngate. And for the human race. I lied. If we are lucky, then by the time you read this, I will be dead. 
a fate frowns, we all perish. The Northwestern Mine is located at reference North 816914, West 583154. Kill them. Kill them all. Oof. Tune in next time. Oh, man. So am I not playing as Philip the next time around? I don't know. Interesting. Oh, I missed three collectibles. And it actually counts the number of save artifacts I used. <laughs> Woo! You got me, game. Now, from what I've heard, collecting all of the, um, to be redundant collectibles allows me to access some file in the folder that gives me concept art or something like that. So it's not like you unlock power-ups or anything like that. It's just a cool thing to have. Now, now that I've gotten through Black Plague, gotta say, I really liked Overture, but this game really stepped it up. This is freaking awesome. Well, there you have it. We have now beaten Penumbra Black Plague. And I gotta say, like I said in the video just a second ago, I really enjoyed Penumbra Overture, it really kept a creepy atmosphere going. The fact that you could kill enemies took away a little bit because, I mean, I argued that the fact that you could fight gives you that little bit of hope that you could get out of this, whereas in a game like Silent Hill Shadow Memories where fighting is utterly impossible, you just kind of want to avoid them and they become moving obstacles. Penumbra made them creepy enough to actually really be scary. Uh, that is to say, Overture did. Also, the fact that they would kill you in like three or four hits also helped with that, so you really actually had to be stealthy. But when you could finally fight back, when I first got accustomed to the combat system, I thought it was too clunky to try, so it actually added to the fear factor. But I was kind of eventually able to overcome it, and I was just killing things before I even really dealt with their environments. So I was able to clear out places that I really had no business clearing out. Now, Black Plague, you never got a weapon. And despite that, the game still came off as very scary. If an enemy saw you, you actually had more HP, probably because you absolutely cannot fight back, at least in the conventional sense. So that really, that, that added to the factor anyway. You have more chances to get away. But not only that, it turns out apparently you can fight back if you keep throwing debris at the enemies, but that is so impractical that you're really better off, instead of rapidly looking for something to pick up and chuck, you're really better off just running around the corner and leaving. Now, eventually, it did just kind of become a little frustrating at points, not many times, where I'm just like, ah, oh, geez, I better get around the corner, so he'll leave me alone, like hiding in those little rooms, the side rooms or whatever, but for the vast, vast majority of the time, the game really kept the fear factor up, and I gotta say, it was a lot more over the top than Overture was. The whole thing with the hive mines got a little weird, but I want to see where they're going with it. <laughs> the true evil, I've already said this, turns out it's man. We must see if we could stop the turn gate. And this is going to be interesting how things play out. Again, Philip said that he suffered a fate far, far worse than what Red suffered, and Red was just slowly going crazy over like 40 years, the majority of his life. So what is it that goes wrong in Requiem? We promised the turn gate that we would get the facility off by itself or even destroy the place so no one will disturb it again. We lied. Go in there, kill them all. Who am I writing to? Or to be a little more specific, who is Philip writing to? To me, the player? Are we controlling people and making this happen? Philip may or may not be part of a hive mind that may be part of a hallucination that the turn gate put on him, but when he was making the promise with the turn gate, you know, his thoughts were not really collected. He was just like, ah, oh, geez, and he's just working at the computer, everything's going black around him. Where are we going with this? I'm so curious. But you know what? We're going to find out next time. Because coming up next, like I need to show you this again, Penumbra Requiem. This ought to be real fun to watch. And I mean real fun. And I had a lot of fun playing this one. I certainly hope that I'll have as much fun playing the next one. I'm sure I will, because Frictional Games is a real good thing going on so far. So, of course, thank all of you so much for watching my Let's Play. And I hope you had as much fun watching as I did playing. And also, special thanks to Witch of Swords and Karyak for their respective title cards in order of submission and therefore order of appearance. You guys and everyone watching are awesome. Thank you all so much. 
Next up, Penumbra Requiem. We are going to conclude the trilogy and see just where this story takes us. Until next time, everyone.